the last part of task one, which is integrate uh, unit testing into your repository. Uh, that was what we discussed earlier this morning, how to set up um, Travis to your repository. So all of the tests that has been written in the test folder of the cloned repository that you have, it is supposed to pass. There are about 14 tests. It is all of them are supposed to pass successfully without an error. And that, for that to happen, you have to complete all of the functions that you have in your um, skeleton code that has been provided for you, which is the fixed extract data frame as well as the fixed clean data frame. The fixed clean data frame does not have the test um, file yet, but you can go the extra mile of writing the test for it and then pushing that. That would also go a long way to um, get you good grades as well. So for today's task, we are supposed to integrate a Travis CI on the repository and make sure all the um, um, tests pass. That's what you're supposed to do today. And that's what you will submit as well. And for all of the, all of that we need that are successfully um, do this, all you have to do is just submit the link again. And that will be it. Um, can you tell us about the unit task test? Okay, that's what I just explained. Yes, we, the test has been written for you. All you have to do is make sure the repository is linked to your Travis. Uh, the repository is linked or is it in, is integrated with Travis CI and all the tests that has been written will um, successfully pass without an error. That is what you're supposed to do. Okay, um, task one, let me just pull it up. Um, task one is on pattern programming and continuous integration, and then we are doing the continuous integration part today. And the first stage is for you to um, fork the repository, and the link for you to get the repo is provided. And then you create the branch which um, Yabi had a session on um, that with you. And you are supposed to rename the files in the new branch. So in the fixed bug branch, you are supposed to rename the fixed clean tweets to clean tweets data frame. I believe this. Um, instructions are clear and you can easily like replicate it and then you fix all the bugs that are present there essentially what that means is for you to complete all the skeleton codes that have been provided and then that would help you to generate a clean data frame from the json file that has been provided and then as you make um, new changes as you make new as you complete new functions you are required to continuously push your code to the fixed bug uh, fixed bug branch and then you should create a new repo, I mean a new branch, and that would be um, the goal for completing the continuous integration. You should create a new branch and you call it uh, make unit test and you update the test in the test folder. And that means all the functions that you have written for the um, tweets, um, uh, tweets DF extractor, you are supposed to then use all of that function to test and test them and see if they are working. And then after completing the unit test, merge the units and the branch with the main branch, such that you can then delete the make unit test because all your tests have successfully passed, which means when you integrate the Travis CI to your um, repo, then you should have, if you have the check mark and not the, um, and the X, uh, the cancel or the exit bot button, that means all your travels, all the tests are successfully passed, and then you can merge this branch together. And in all case, when you merge, make sure you do a pull request. So before you merge, make sure you do a pull request to yourself such that you will be reviewing the codes that you have written, and that, that should be it. That's how you complete the task for today. Do you understand the task one now? Do you, do you understand it? Um, Gina, do you understand now? Not at all. Which part is not clear? Oh, you want me to explain how much time? <laughs> um, like I said, the, the task that has been outlined is they have outlined everything such that you can easily follow it and complete it. The first stage is for you to fork the repo. The second stage for you to have it on your local um, local uh, work machine, you have to clone the repo. And then after you do that, 
you make all the requirements, uh, all the needed changes by creating the branch, uh, completing the codes, and then completing the unit test, and then continuously push to your um, repository. And that's the link that you submit for us. And then today you're supposed to complete the continuous integration part of your code. You set it up with Strabi CI and make sure all the tests pass. That's what you are required to do. Christian, you understand now? Um, oh, the, the link has already been shared. Oh, thank you, Deborah. The link has already been shared. Okay. Yeah. And is, is anybody having any challenges setting up the Travis CI such that we can discuss that? Yes, Daniel. If you have already completed the um, CI integration, you can just submit the link. The only thing is, some of you have uh, done the Travis CI before, but it was failing. Now you need to go back and make sure all, all of it pass. Okay, that's like the major thing for you to do today. Um, Fantai, yes, please. Go ahead. Uh, okay, thank you. Uh, so, I have said already the Travis CI development and uh, all the, I, I fixed all the bugs in the code, but when I run in in the local machine, it's, it says no error. Uh, but when I push it in the GitHub, the Travis I uh, doesn't check all of them. Uh, so I, I probably am having an issue, uh, a simple issue, but it says environment uh, environment set uh, environment variable is not set. So do you suggest me anything? environment variable is not set and then all you uh okay uh okay we do this um we, we'll try and fix this um i, I would advise like we we'll see the screenshots of the probably the travis.yaml file we can do that on the gimmick probably we can do it on a strong channel and then fix this um together like, okay 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 thank yeah. you yeah um any other issues Uh, okay, one more thing. Yes. Uh, could you please share us uh, uh, the the unit test uh, recorded video because I was having trouble in connection; it was broken down. Oh, okay. And um, we'll find ways to upload that. We'll upload the, that to you, and then you get the link. The morning session of the recorded. Yes, it is not. I um, mean, we are currently uploading it and. Probably by the time we finish this um, session, you should get the link. Okay. okay, thank you. Okay. Um, just a quick recap on what we did um, this one, setting up the Travis uh, CI. You are required to sign up with your GitHub account, and once you do that, you have all of this. If you need to um, add any other uh, Python I mean, repository, you just click on Manage Repository, get the link here, and then you can select the repository for you and that you want to integrate it with and then you select all of the, um, you integrate that with it and once if you have the test the folder set up in your uh, if you have the test folder set up in your in your repo Travis CI would automatically pick that up and it will run the build for you so it will automatically run this um, test for it. And then I explained that this is what the link. This is what a Travis.yaml file looks like. So maybe that could be the issue that you are um, facing. Let me get it.
So I was explaining this morning that this is what a Travis HTML file looks like. So for entire, this could be the reason why the environment is not set up. This is required. So if you have all of these and then still complaining about the environment setup, I'm sure we'll figure something out once I see the screenshot to fix it. So if you have all of this set, it will uh, install all of this. And I mean, it will install all of set up the virtual environment for this. And then it's install the requirements and then it test this file and make sure it works. And then make sure it works. The codes that we have for day four, you could use that as a test. Uh, let's assume I create a folder for it. Uh, you could like create a new repository, push um, the day four into it, and then the test, and then integrate um, Python into it and see if it will work out. So this is just. With me. So for all of all of us that are still having issue setting it up, so let's try this out. Hopefully it works out. Okay. So I'm trying to clone the repo now. Is closed and I put four, there's nothing there, so I can um, manually move the files without using the terminal. Move the file, so this is the cloned repo. So I'm going to move this file as well as this file into this, and when I do that, I do git status. So this is plus the GitHub session that it's supposed to have. And then this is not tracked, so I'll do git add. Then I can git commit. Um, OK, I need to set up my, so I've not used uh, my terminal to push. I'll be able to push into it because I didn't need to. Then it's global. Okay, and then I can do. Add and then it's added and it's push. See how we have this. I'm not sure it will work out. Let's try that. Okay, and it has been uploaded. And when we come back here and we refresh, the files have been added. So since all of these files are added and the test pass on our file, we have the test file, we just need to set up the Travis.yaml file now. So we can do that with S goes to torch. Can we send this better? has been created. Uh, what we need to do now is copy the content of the touch file into the new touch file that has been created. Uh, okay. 
get that. So once you do that and you watch um, this video, it should sh be easy to set up your Travis here. So I'm setting up the um, Travis.yaml farm. Copy this, come to this folder. Sorry if you can see it clearly. Yes, and I paste it. Okay, so the only thing that will change is this now. So I don't have this because I don't want it to fail. Actually, I think probably we should run it first and let it fail and then try and fix it. Okay, let's run it first, let it fail, and then we'll try and fix it. So Travis has been added. Let's yes. add the Travis at YAML. And then let's get committed. And we'll say um, Travis um, added. And then we can get pushed out. Okay. Okay, it's writing and then it's done. Then we can um, check if that is correct. Okay, so Travis.yaml file has been added. Uh, next is for us to then integrate um, the Travis into it, right? So I come back to it. So I go back to my to the settings here. Then I click on the uh, organization, and this is what I have. So I click on Manage repository. So it has automatically identified the organization. And then I say only select repository. Then I search for the repo. And then it is called day four. And this is it. I've not added any description in terms of the readme. That's why you see no to it. And then I approve and install. Then I sign it. Are you guys following? Do you guys have any question? I'm oh, sorry. I said I'm able to integrate Travis CI in my GitHub branch. I'm sure probably after this tutorial you you get it. If you still have any question, just message um, on um, uh, I'm sorry on Rocket Chat. Okay, maybe you should probably try what yeah um, Fanta suggests as well. Yeah, I will try and zoom in now. Sorry for that. Okay. Uh, so I click on this organization, and then it has successfully added. Right? Is this one person? Okay. So it has successfully add the day four to it. So let's see what we have there. So it says uh, the build is unknown. Uh, there's no branch. There's no build history. So let's let's try and set this up. Right? So let's assume you have uh, many other repository, I mean, sorry, branch, and then you don't want it to like build the, you don't want to trigger the build or the testing based on the main repo. This is where you specify other repos, but in my, I mean, other branch, but in my case, I only have the main repo, and that is why you can see the main here, okay? Now we have that going. So we have integrated, um, Travis CI into it. So let's try and push something and hopefully to kickstart the build. Okay. Let's see. Wait, where are we? Okay. Uh, what else are we adding this time around? Oh, yes. We need to set up the requirement.txt file. Yeah. So let's do that. Uh, let me try and zoom in this time around. Uh, let me go back to my white so you can see it. Okay. So we need to set up this requirement.txt file. 
um, come to day four, create a new bar, call it y -MX. It's very nice to create. Yeah. And basically, we are not using anything in our case one and case two. Unit test is already inserted, um, system is already um, installed, as well as OS. So I'm thinking we might not even need this. Most likely we won't need it. But let's let's create it first. But we need to set up the environment, yeah? So. Is it? Did I copy it right? Hopefully I'm not making any mistakes. Is the challenge right? Uh, I'm sure we won't need it, but we need to set up the Okay, Yama will do that for us. Okay, so let, let's add that file and then let's push it and hopefully it will you know, start this game. So because I can't see the um, I can't see this. So if you have any question, okay. Oh, nice, nice, nice. That's good to know. Good to know. Uh, let's see if the build starts. Actually, we can see it here. Okay, so you can see this um, yellow button, which means the build is currently running. So we have integrated Travis here into it. So when we click on it, we see the details here. The damage Travis here has been uh, has been installed, and it says this is the first build. If you notice in the Python, we have 3.9, 3.8, 3.7, 3 and then it's installing all of this. For us to see the detail, we just click, and then it takes us here, and then we see the build currently. So it's you can see the process. So it's downloading archive, you know, doing all of that. We are expecting this to fail though. Because you know we didn't set up the test as we want, right? So you can see, I think it's failed, right? Your build exited with um, one. Uh, let me extend this to so that you see it. Okay, so it says the test ran for um, this, and then you know no module name test or test extract data frame. And as you know, we don't currently have we don't have extract data frame in our case. You know, we just copy the Travis.yaml file, we didn't change anything there. And that's why it's installing three different, um, and four different environments first, right? We can remove this because of course we are not using it. I'm just going to keep it so I don't crash anything. Yeah. Okay, so let me go into the test file and see the name. So it's called test underscore case one, right? So it's supposed to be case one. Okay, and then when we save this, Go back to our terminal. We just we just get out. Okay, sorry. So we get uh, so we add in this line. Let's add everything. Uh, we get commits. What's what is it called now? Fixed um, test cases. Fixed test cases. Then when we run it, and we get push password okay so we have successfully pushed that uh, and then the build is currently failing when we how do I go okay yeah. so the build is failing yeah so let's go back to Let's go back to the code. And then we should see another yellow button, which means it is kickstarting. And when we go back now, we see it's running for the second time now. So you can see a two point, let me just accept. So you could see 2.1 here. So that, that means for the second build, uh, let's see, hopefully, uh, build system. Yeah, so you're still installing it. Let's wait for it, yeah. 
So you can see the, um, the instruction that is running. Actually installing 3.9. Give it time. Yeah, it's still failing, but let's let's hope after installation it will pass, right? Installing cached. Uh, if this okay, and now you can see it ran this command and it says your build exited with zero, right? Which means the build is passing, okay? And when you successfully do this, when we go back to this, you should see instead of the X that we add on our Twitter repository, we have the check marks now, which means the test has successfully uh, run, okay? Do you guys understand? Do you have uh, any question? No, no, it's not compulsory install Visual Studio Code. I'm just using Visual Studio Code to write it. You can use um, any ID of your choice. Yes, thank you, Kevin. You can use any ID of your choice. And um, you can go back to um, my dark session. Yes. Yeah. So. I think this team really looks cool as well. This is it's designed by my colleague. Okay. Okay. So do you guys have any question now? I think it's much much easier for you to integrate and set up and Travis CI to your repo now, right? Do you understand? Okay. Um, not for now. You have something for us? Please go ahead. Thanks, me. Okay. How to match after person? Okay, uh, you have to make a pull request. You know, in in my own case, I didn't create a new branch, right? But you know, to create a branch is as easy as coming here and even writing um, fixed bug. Maybe I should have done that. So writing fixed bug and doing the issue. So if you write this name and then you click on create branch, it will create the branch for you, right? So the branch has been successfully created and you, you see you have two branches now and then you have all of this uh, so let's assume there is a, a let's make a simple change to any git pool such that the branch is updated okay it's already up to date okay so the new branch has been added now uh, so i can do git um, checkout fix Work. Uh, I'm gonna check it out. Okay, check this. Okay, so I'm in the I'm in the new branch now called fixed bug. So let me add a new file. Uh, I'm going to come to day four. Where is it? Oh, this is it. Let me just use stamina so I don't make any mistakes. So I just do search and then I call it um, new file or fix code txt and then the file is created. And when I come to my this is just an ID, right? You can use any of your choice, the one you prefer. Uh, where is it created? I can see it. Okay. Let me just um, echo uh, 10 Academy and Academy batch for testing tutorial. And then I enter it into the new file. Okay. And then we do ls, we have the file that has been already uh, added, you can see it here, and then we just need to like check if the file has, um, if we have successfully written to the file, and then it says an academic branch. Okay, so we can just do kits. Uh, mind you, we have already moved from the main branch to the fixed work branch, right? So we can just do kits add, and then we'll do git commit, and uh, new branch. Added. Um, your commit message must describe exactly what you are doing. So mine is I've created a new branch, I've added a new file to it, so I'm just calling it a new branch um, added. So I can like go new branch, so I'm do uh, this, and then call it fix bug. 
added and then that has been added and then I just do git push. Okay, yeah. We have to set this because we are not pushing to the main repo now, so we have to go um, this route. Then we'll run it. Passwords. Okay, that's already been okay. Yeah. So it says branch fix box set up to track, and now when I do git push, it will automatically push to fix box. So if I need to change it, I need to run. If I need to change the branch back to the main, I need to run git push iPhone iPhone set iPhone upstream origin, and then I write main because that's the new. I mean, that's the uh, new branch that I want to go back into. Okay, uh, so let's go back to this. And then when we refresh this, you can see the file is not there. When I refresh this. Yeah, so and the file is added, and then the build is automatically running, right? But the build is only running for main, you know. I showed you how to change it. Okay. Now, the question was, Yes, um, I know what I'm running in the terminal is the uh, git commands, right? So I'm running the git uh, git clone and uh, yeah, git clone, git add, git commit, git push. I'm sorry, it's too small. I know. Okay, um, not now. You said you have a question. Can you go ahead, please? Sorry, for the delay. Okay, thank you. Uh, I have been following this Travis uh, thing, and I'm seeing an error. It uh, says file not found error because since file I imported found, yeah. the yeah the COVID nineteen dot JSON. Okay. Um. Do you so, do you push the data as well while you were pushing your code? Is the data pushed on your repo? Yes. And the location is as you have specified in the file. Probably is not getting the actual location. That's like the major. Um, error that could cause file error. So probably the location you have specified in the code is not where the file is residing on your local um, drive. No, but the lo I have run the tests locally, and they all work as expected. But when I push it to Travis, uh, I'm seeing errors. Oh. Okay. Okay. Uh, what could be the issue? I the major thing I can think about right now is, uh, is majorly because you probably you didn't set the actual location. Probably when you push, the location of the data changed. Maybe um, you change the location from data folder to something else. I think I think that's the only issue that could probably cause it. Or you should use um, relative path instead of absolute path. Use relative path to target it. Just like um, Yosef uh, has um, explained here. Probably you should try that. Okay, okay, I will try. Okay, if you still face anything, just like screenshots where the data is on the error and then post on tutorial channel, we will be glad to help. Okay, I will take a screenshot. And one more thing can yeah. I remove uh, this Travis uh, CI from my repo anytime I want? Uh, I've not tried that out yet, but I think it should be possible. I think you, all you have to do is let's see. Sure. I'm sure it should be possible. Like it shouldn't be a continuous thing. We can probably like delete um, the Travis. Let's say we want to add. Right. Let me go back to where to okay. add. Let's say we want to add. Yeah, you can. See. Do you understand? Okay. Like, if you want to add, well, you are adding. You can also like remove. Right. So once you click on this, and you then. I think when you click on this, you remove it, and then you have proof probably it won't work, right? It should be another way. I'll, I'll, I'll check out, and then I'll send anything that I found to you. OK? OK, that would be great. All right, okay, thank, you. thank you. OK, so um, I can't really pronounce your name. Forgive me. So you said you can. Please help us with the resource on the, on the RC channel on how to do that. OK. Uh, what were we discussing? I think I'm lost. What were we discussing? Okay, the build is part. Okay, yeah, I remember. We are trying to um, how to match. Okay, so we have this branch. Is you can see it says this branch is one commit 
um, ahead of me. So we just come here and then we do compare and pull request. Okay. Once you come here, you click on this. You get this. So this is the um, commit message. You can see it says it's able to merge. So all you have to do is create a pull request here. So that's what it means for that uh, one when you say you should create a pull request before you merge. So I'm about to merge, and then the GitHub has successfully, or Git has successfully checked the this branch and this branch, and it sees that this branch is able to merge with this branch because they have common files, and then this one is a little bit ahead of this one. So you can just come here and create pull request. Once I click on this, it creates the pull request, and you see it here in the folder. I'm mean, sorry, in the in the repo you see pull request equals to one now before it used to be zero, uh, zero or not present and then the checks you can easily review your codes here so it says travel ci uh, is um is queued and then build created and successfully run in 48 seconds which means you can uh, successfully merge on um, this so you can click on this to merge it and just before we do that we can check our files and then we will be able to detect what file we pushed this is the git commit message and these are the checks that was run because this repo is integrated with Travis here. This is the checks that was matched. So it's still the pull request is currently running. And then there's the um, Travis doing his thing. Right? And then the files that was changed, you can easily see it here. And this is where you review the code. So the file that was changed is called new file for fixed work txt. And then this is what it has in it. So if probably you have a clean, I mean, an extract data frame.py in the main folder or in the main branch, and then in your Pixbug branch, you have another extract, then all the codes will be compared with one another, and then the new changes will be highlighted to the green, and then the old change will stay as they were, right? And then you can review changes here, write a review if there is anything, Probably you are working on a big project and a lot of you guys are, con are contributing in a particular repo. So this is how you like you create your own small chat system and then you like write, hey, what you've been done here is not complete. Hey, this code is returning an error. Hey, you should include a doc string, you know, all of this things. So you can go comment or you can approve or you can so request a change. Probably the code is not working, you request a change and then you submit a, uh, a review. So here you have not actually merged, you have already submitted a review, and then the person that is responsible for this new change will go back and see what you have written and then make the necessary changes. Okay? Uh, in our case, we have an open pull request. Uh, we want to, yeah. So all checks have passed. The branch has no conflict with the base branch, and yes, we can easily match it. We can squash and match, we can rebase and match, like do a uh, quick clean and match. Um, and then you see the one commit from this branch will be added to this, uh, to the base branch. And then all commits from this branch will be added to the base branch. So let's assume you have like the fixed book and you have like 15 different commits there. If you squash and match, that means you are, you are just cleaning the top part of the main um, repo, a main branch, and then you are adding this new one to it. Okay. And then when you rebrace, you totally, the one coming from this branch will be rebased and then it will be added to it. So that's like another clean uh, sweep of ensuring that your merge works successfully. You can quickly add a comment to say, uh, the afternoon, afternoon session. And then you comment, you can close the repo and close the pull request to this comment. Probably you've seen the code and you see the checks are not, uh, are not um, harassing, like they're not successful. And then the branch has a lot of conflict. You just say this um, this branch is not able to uh, merge with the main branch and then you, you make your comments. So I'm just going to add my comment here. That is done. And then I just say merge pull request. And then this is the comment message. And then I'll just say, this is the comment by the way. And then I just hit confirm merge. And then it has successfully merged. You can see match, right? Harder. And you can decide to delete this branch because, of course, you don't need it anymore. It's the same thing with the old branch and uh, with the main branch. So you can delete it here. And then it's gone. You can easily re restore as well. And most of these things have um, Git commands that you can easily use to do them. But I prefer to just use this. Uh, uh, I prefer to just use the GUI to do it since it's just minimum, right? And then we come back to day four, the main branch. You can see we only have one branch now. 
and then the test is running and the file has been successfully added. Okay. And then you have then academy about four units testing tutorial. Okay. Do you guys understand? Do you have any questions so far? I'm sure by the by the time you okay. Um hi. for you to hi. Okay, so uh can I ask I'm sorry, I didn't raise my hand. Sorry, I got it. Okay, uh, I'm about to ask about the merging uh, issue. I have a uh, merging issue on uh, merging the uh, fixed bug into main uh, branch. So, can you just give me a detail about merging? Well, what's the error you're getting? Is it, you're getting an error? Uh, that's why I. That's why. I, what, that's why I've been merging uh, the fixed bug to main branch. That's what I. The time that occurs. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I just don't understand the question yet. So, uh, that, okay, my question is, do I have to first pull a request? So, in order to merge a, uh, merge a fix back to main branches, my question. Yes, yes. You need to create a pull request before you can merge to the main branch. Because the pull request will allow all other contributors of that particular repo to review the codes that you are trying to match to the main. Because the main can contain a lot of other um, codes that, and when they successfully match your own code to it, might cause um, probably conflict and then disrupt the code base. So that's why you need to create a pull request before you can match into the main branch. But before that, when I just prayed to the pull request, when I asked the pull request, uh, the, there was an issue saying that the main request of, I mean, the main branch, uh, the main branch in the, the one with the Tin Academy main branch, I mean, main uh, repository was the same, so you can't ask a, a pull request was an mm -hmm. issue that I faced. Yeah, you, you probably didn't add, um, you didn't make any, make any changes to your own, probably if you are like, included or you probably added a new file or you change the code base or you change something you should have like one commit ahead two commits ahead of the main branch and that should ensure you have a pull request okay thank and, you and you don't have to like make a pull request to the um 10 academy and uh, repo you have to make a pull request to your own repo so that's why we have asked you to fork it first and then clone it such that when you clone and then you push back you are pushing to your own code base and not then academy's code base so when you create a pull request you'll be creating a pull request on your own code base and not an academy's code base okay sure thank you you're welcome um okay thank you kevin any other questions before we end the session uh okay one question. Uh, what's today's task? Uh, can you clearly? Oh, I'm. I have explained what today's task earlier. What I'm. What today? What you have to do today is the quick walkthrough we have we've done, right? Um, you're supposed to go to the. Let's see if I can get. Yeah, you're supposed to come to the the cloned repo that you have. So you everybody currently have this, and then you have many other branches and all of that. This is currently failing. So you're supposed to. Um, make sure all the tests that has been written in our test extract data frame all of them pass and when that happens you have a check marks like this okay okay so is this the same uh, task uh, that we were given uh, and this yes, task one yeah exactly yeah so all we have to do is do the continuous integration part we noticed that um some of the trainees have not completed this and then we have to bring this up okay okay and if sure. you have done it before, you just resubmit the link. You'll be good. OK. 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 Um, so, you know? You know? Yeah, Samuel, go ahead. OK, sorry, quick question. Uh, how many tests do we have in the given test folder? Um, we have about 14 different tests. We can quickly count. Yes. Okay. Okay. We can quickly do I, a count by ourselves now. That's not good. Okay. Yeah, just 14. 1, 2, 3, actually, that's not there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, just 14. Okay. Thank you. And all, all of them, once you complete the extract data frame, all of them should pass. Okay. 
Yeah. Um, Tadasi, we'll, the, the tutorial is recorded, and then we'll make sure we share the link to you guys. Okay. Um, thank you very much. If you have any other questions, let's, let's rocket chat it to us, and then we'll chat it back to you. All right. Um, the link for the quiz, as I've said earlier, you will be completing two quiz today. It will last for one hour, 30 minutes, and then you should stop, you should do it, and you should access it via the classroom such that we can record your grade. Okay? The link will go live as normal time it normally goes live. Right? All right. Um, thank you, everyone. And uh, let's continue doing great things. Step forward.